Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 111th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as the 51st episode of Season 2, titled Wild West Rangers Part 2. We begin this episode right where we left off with Kim, Rocco, Alicia, William, and Abraham staring at the fact that Goldar and Needlenose have just arrived in town. Kim says that they need to get out of there before Goldar spots them, and she pushes them away before she has a standoff with them and the buddies. On the moon, Zed reiterates how this plan is working and what the plan is actually. Cool. Meanwhile, Kim says screw this because it's morphin' time! She morphs, taking on a swarm of putties. Oh, and one eyed Bulk and Doc Skolovich are breaking out of jail. They see the Pink Ranger fighting the putties, and they're kind of shocked. Kim also gets thrown through the air before she just starts flipping into oblivion. Before she says, I have a plan, and she says, Zordon, please be there, teleporting away. And now the putties are terrorizing Bulk and Skull. At the command center, which now just has random barns next to it, Kim teleports in, and Alpha freaks out saying that there's an intruder. She takes off her helmet, explaining the situation. She explains that Rita has the green power coin, so she asks for the four other coins, but she can't take the pink one because it's going to cause too much pink energy? This has an odd payoff later. With the box, she talks to Rocco, Abraham, William, and Alicia, and she shows them the power coins. In the command center in the present, Zordon says that there are some sort of particles that Billy can tune into to see images from the past. Meanwhile, after some convincing, the four accept their new power coins despite having no training whatsoever. The present rangers see One-Eyed Bulk and Doc Skolovich, and Zordon explains that, yeah, those are someone's ancestors. Oh, and now they're using a divining rod to find out who the pink ranger is because people are 90% water or something. Tommy finally says, let's stop watching this, we have to find Kim. The present rangers see their ancestors getting their power coins. And Zordon says that they're the first earthlings to ever use the power coins. That's interesting. Now Kim and her amateur friends are walking the town while the putties and them hide and try to ambush them as seen by the present rangers. This is getting really annoying. I wish they would stop cutting back and forth. The putties come out and sure enough these ancestors suck at fighting. Pretty much battling like first season Billy. Also Goldar just appears near a damn noose to talk crap. Are, are we not going to talk about that? He then disappears, but here comes the white stranger on his horse, just in time to steal the show in literally any era. In the present, Billy says that he has a plan, but he needs three communicators to bring Kim back. In 1880, Goldar and Needlenose appear before them, and Kim says, it's morphin' time! And now, red, black, blue, and yellow are cowboy versions of the ranger suits. It's okay though, because we're going to first focus on the white stranger fighting without powers against the putties. Turns out the others still suck at fighting even with ranger powers, making it even more obvious that these are just colored pajamas more than armor. Then Needle Nose just shoots a paralyzing spore into the white stranger, which makes me like him just like a little bit more. They move him to the back to regain his strength. Now it's time for them all to draw, and the rangers pull out their blade blasters, hitting Goldar and Needle Nose right into the time hole that they just arrived in taking them back to the present. Kim then just rips her suit off in a way that we'll probably see more of in season 3. They then celebrate, and I guess the white stranger's fine. I mean, wasn't he like getting paralyzed or something? Zed and Rita say that they're going to keep attacking. In the command center, Zordon explains that Needlenose and Goldar are back in the present, but since Billy isn't done with the communicators yet, Rocky and Tommy will go by themselves. Zed makes Needlenose grow giant and they call out their Thunderzords, converting them into warrior mode right away. Then they're losing, so the other three have to morph and help them. So Billy says, this is gonna have to wait, and they immediately get into their Zords, combining the Mega Tiger Zord, which just finishes off Needlenose. R.I.P. Kim's Cactus. In the command center, Tommy says, we may have saved the world, but we lost Kim. I mean, that's kinda bleak, man. Billy explains that they have to try to bring her back by creating their own time hole. But if it fails, they only get one shot, so... Yeah, it works. Kim's back in the present. Meanwhile, One-Eyed Bulk and Doc Skolovich are cleaning in jail attire, and Ernest thanks the White Stranger for capturing them. The others talk about how Calamity Kim was awesome, and the White Stranger gets on his horse, leaving. He passes a girl who looks just like Kimberly in a stagecoach before he yells, TO THE PINK RANGER! in the sun. 
the end. This episode isn't an epic conclusion by any means, but it gets the job done. There was some interesting use of Japanese footage in order to attempt to make this story work, and I can't blame the writers for trying. Personally though, I'm over these rangers going back in time. Want to make it interesting? Send them into the future. Now that I'd like to see. Next episode is the final one for season 2 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Will it be an actual season finale? Or will it go out with a whimper like last season's? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you.